Hi students, welcome back to week 10 of BCA. I hope you have all had a good recess and you are rested and well. Um, I would like today to just recap on where we have come from. So I'm going to go into Blackboard, I'm going to go to the content tab and let's just have a look where we have actually come from over the past few weeks. We have completed now our MIS 9 chapter 1 to 7 theory that was we examined chapters 4 to 7 in the June examination then we have now moved on to Microsoft Access please be aware that you will need Microsoft Access 2007 all the way up to Office 365 any version will actually work if you will have a look, uh, some students have noticed that I'm using Access 2007, which is perfectly acceptable. Your menus will change slightly, but do not worry about that. So what we did is we covered our chapters 1 to 7 of theory. Then we moved into our practical of our creating our access tables, which we went through all of those activities. I did the one activity with you guys, and then the rest you did on your own basically no problem there that is creating a table the second section that we went into was creating queries which is getting specific information out of a table and we used the query wizard for that so hopefully you have all completed all of these activities you would need to have completed them in order to move on what we are looking at today is access, imports and exports. Now I'm sure you're all familiar with business and importing and exporting and the concept is very very straightforward. What we are looking at is two programs. Now sometimes you will be, you will be given information in a spreadsheet from your boss or from a company you will be given information in Excel and you would like to get that information into access this that is called an import or an export from Excel into access we can go in the other direction and we can export from access to Excel so if we have a look at today's example that I am using I have a database called goals Let's just open that quick. Inside this database is a table called Goals. And I would want to get this table from Microsoft Access into Microsoft Excel. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. The other alternative is, let me close my database here, is to open Excel to get some information from Access. I have two spreadsheets, Excel spreadsheets here. If you notice, this one is blank. And when we have completed the activity, you will see something that looks like this. Let me just open the other one quickly. This information has been imported from Microsoft Access and it shows up as a table. So we have a table in Access and we have a spreadsheet and we can import and export data via both of them. Let's take a look at the first one. I have a blank Excel spreadsheet and I said Excel from Access. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to get my goals table that's sitting here in Access, it's completed already, into Excel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a blank Excel spreadsheet. Don't be confused, this is quite simple. It is just an import or an export of information. I am going to go here in my Excel to the Data tab. And if you look right at the beginning there, it's the, my very first button is from Access. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to start, ask me where 
is my access database that I would like to get the information from. Mine is sitting on my desktop here, access import and e import and export and I'm going to choose my goals database. I'm then going to open that and it's going to ask me how would I select how you would like to view the data in your workbook. Sheet 1 is our workbook. Nothing complicated at this point, no pivot tables, pivot charts, creating connections, nothing like that. You can leave the default as a table. I would like to import data from an access database as a table. I have pointed Excel to that database and I just simply click OK. And what it has done, it is, has gone to the access database and it has gone and fetched the goals table for me and that is that. Very very straightforward, very very simple. I will then now save my spreadsheet so that when I open it again, Excel from access, I open it And I will see there on my spreadsheet the information that I got out of the Access database. I'm going to create another spreadsheet and just show you once again, just for the record. You will go to Data. You will choose From Access. You then need to tell it where is my Access database that I would like to get this information from. I'm going to choose my Desktop. I'm going to go to my database, I'm going to choose the Access Goals database, I'm going to tell it Open, and I would like to import it as a table. I simply click OK, and there we go. I have now exported or imported data from Microsoft Access that was sitting in a table. The next part of the lesson is we are now going to go in the other direction. I would like to import from, I'm going to open access and I'm going to get my information in the other direction from Excel. So I'm going to enable my content and I'm actually, I do have the goals table in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close it and I'm going to delete that table. So if you actually have a look here, I have an empty database. Somebody has given me a spreadsheet and I would like to import that spreadsheet as a table into my Access database. To do this, we choose here External Data. You have a look at your keys. It will say from Excel. Now it's asking me where is the Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to browse for my Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to go to my desktop, access Excel import and export, and I'm going to go access from Excel. Inside there is already the information. I'm going to choose open, and it will ask me a few questions here. Input the source data into a new table in the current database, which is the one that I would like to do. At this point, we don't use linking any data sources or anything. I've simply pointed it to my spreadsheet and said import the data into a new table in the database. I'm going to tell it OK. And it's gone into the spreadsheet and it's found this. It's shown my worksheets. There is the goals worksheet. There is the information. I choose Next, and if you have a look at the top here, the first row does contain the column headings, which will actually become my fields. I continue with the wizard. I click Next. I don't need to do anything there. I can simply click Finish. You do not need to save the import steps. Please remember that. I'll repeat that. You do not need to save the import steps. You just click on close and suddenly there appears my table that I actually extracted from Excel. If I open the goals table, there we go. I have now imported it. So please 
remember this is very straightforward it's importing and exporting between access and Excel that you need to practice you will need an access database and you will need an Excel spreadsheet with the relevant information in it so the access database had the goals table in that I exported to Excel and my Excel spreadsheet had the goals table in that I imported into Access. That is effectively imports and exports. Please do go and have a look at Blackboard. Go to Content. Go to Access and Excel Imports and Exports Practical. And you will have a look here. We have a weekly program. We have Activity 5.1, 5.2 and 5.3 where we are doing the various imports and exports. Please note students you will need to create open the access table questions and in this instance you will need to create your own access database from the access questions and instructions. So you would create a blank database, you would set up all of your fields you would do your data capturing and capture the information. You would then open an Excel spreadsheet and import that data into the Excel spreadsheet and it would look as such. If I close that activity and I go here, access table imported to Excel, we have here instructions. Please down the que questions and instructions. I see there are none there. We will fix that for you today. And we will import the access table into a MS Excel and the MS Excel table into access. So what we would like to do before Wednesday is to move through activity 5.1, 5.2 and 5.3. That is the effective content for today's lesson. Please attempt it and feel free to ask questions on the WhatsApp groups. Thank you very much everybody. I hope this video was of some help to you.